I can't tell you how many times I tried to make this video yesterday and kept getting interrupted. So we're trying it again today. Let's talk about what sold for the last half of May. Grab a drink, come on back. I'm gonna roll that intro. My name is Jennifer. If you're new here, I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy, and sometimes whatnot. <laughs> Do them all. Um, anyway, we are going to look at what sold for May 16th through the 31st. If you are new to reselling, what sold videos are your key? your tool, the best tool you might have in your toolbox in order to figure out what should I be picking up? You know, what's selling for other people could be selling all the way around. Gather some data. A lot of this job is about having data, making sure that you're on the right track. So this is one of those, okay? So <clears throat> um, I had a total of, for that two week period, a total of 47 um, sales, which averages out to about three items per day. I'm happy with that as a part-time person, okay? Um, I know that there are people that do way more than me, people that do way less than me. So 47, I'm good with. So here's the topics that I cover. I am going to tell you guys, normally I do what's sold at $25 or more. I'm doing 20 or more. I didn't I only had like two sales that were over 25 this time, but so let's go with 20 or more. Okay. Um, sometimes it's like that, you know, if money's tight, but people still want to purchase things or still need to purchase things, they're going to look a little lower and, and maybe that's what they did this time. Fine with me. I made sales. All right. Um, so we'll look at um, items that sold for over $20. I've got three after that in the honorable mention category because they sold for $19.50 or more, but not up to the 20. So we'll do those honorable mentions. And then we'll do what I call the fast lane. The fast lane is anything that sells in 30 days or less. Now, sometimes those $20 or more items will be the fast lane items too. I always make a list, pop that up on the screen, and it, you'll get to see, we won't have to do those twice. There's no sense in doing things twice, is there? And then I'll cover the other fast lane items. Um, then we will talk about my net sales. Um, what I made after everything's taken out, cost of goods, all of that jazz. We'll talk about my net sales. Um, then we will talk about categories, clothing, shoes, jewelry, accessories, things like that. And then we will look at my total for the month of May and compare it to last May. Am I still doing better than I was last year? Am I improving? That, that's the, for me, that's the thing that I look at. So let's start with these Ross Hummerson leather flats, size nine and a half SS, which I think meant very narrow. I think SS means very, very narrow. Um, they sold on Poshmark for $20. So that leaves me after fees bringing home 16. Okay. Um, number two was this built polo. It was the built B-Y-L-T men's polo shirt, drop cut, luxe, cotton blend, short sleeve, polka dot size, large. Um, oh, the Ross Homersons. Let me go back. Ross Homersons. I paid a dollar for those. We had a Goodwill boutique store that was closing out. I went in on the day, the, their last day, and everything was a dollar a piece. And I bought them then. The Built Polo. Um, I paid $7.06 for that. that. That's high. But it did sell for $20 on eBay 
Um, and it, it sold pretty fast, okay? So it sold in a day. I put it up and I bet, you know, within, it could have been less than 24 hours, I had an offer. And I put it up for tw probably twenty four ninety, and I had an offer t for twenty in less than less than twenty four hours, and I took it. So you'll see that in the list for for um, fast lanes. Okay. All right. Next after that were the Sam Edelman Ginger. That was the name of the shoe, the Ginger Brown Leather Gladiator Sandals with studs, size seven and a half, MSRP one hundred and forty five dollars. That was my whole title more than likely, especially with a lot of my titles, I probably took it straight from somebody else's listing, especially a sold listing. If I look and see, hey, it's sold for this, you know, they probably had it titled right where it could be searched, so why not? I go in eBay, I go sell similar, and my title is already generated for me. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I paid $3.50 for these shoes at the Goodwill bins, and I sold them for $30 on eBay. Okay, next, let's see, one, two, three, four, are these Fit Flops. These are the Fit Flop Petra, that was the name of them. The Fit Flop Petra Jeweled Black Faux Snakeskin Thong Sandals, size US 9. I highly considered keeping these. Anyway, I paid $3.50 for them at the bins. The bins in my area charges by the pair of shoes, not by the weight. Um, they charge $3.50 per pair. And I sold these for $24.50 on eBay. All right. The fifth thing to sell for over 20 is this vintage Monet necklace, gold tone, choker, chunky, basket weave, link, collar. I'm trying to see the rest of the name. Runway. <laughs> um, I feel like if I could picture... A, if it's a piece of jewelry that I could picture on the runway, very flashy, you know, it would stand out. I'm putting that in my title. I'm putting it somewhere. Runway. So, um, I paid $2 for this, I think, in maybe a whatnot show. So, a lot of the jewelry I sell, I find on whatnot. I find it in different places, but I find a lot in whatnot. Um, and I sold it on eBay for two dollars and it sold within a day so more than likely yeah i had it priced at 24.90 somebody came in within a day offered me 20 i took it i'm all about that fast flip that makes me happy as long as it's a reasonable offer all right next let's go i'm gonna scroll up so i can read you i'm scrolling through my vendu so i can read you all the titles i think titling helps all right, next I sold this Cooley Bar Dress, Women's Large UPF 50, Gray Black Stretch, Pullover Hooded Floral. Um, I found this dress in Virginia Beach when I was shopping, thrift shopping with my sister. I paid $7.06 for it. I found it at the same place that I found the built shirt. Um, and it sold on eBay for $25. It sold in three days. So, three days from the time I listed it. And let's see, was that, I had it priced at $29.90. Somebody came in and offered me $25 and I took it. So again, I can flip something in three days. You dang right, I'm gonna do it. All right, and then let's see, I need to go to, I gotta go to another page, hold tight. This is working out, y'all. I probably shouldn't count my chickens before they're hatched so far okay I don't have the title for this one because <laughs> it sold within an hour of me listing it which was kind of crazy um it I didn't even have a chance so I, I put it on to Poshmark and I at the end of the night usually when I'd spend a day listing at the after I finished listing for the day I pull everything from wherever I listed it, eBay, Poshmark, Macari, I pull it into my Vendu. I listed this skirt, I got up to go do probably more photographs or something and I had an offer on it and I took it. Um, I was like, wow, I didn't even have a chance to put it, pull it into my Vendu. So I had to make up a 
kind of like a fake Vendu um, ad sir, or listing. So it's a Muse skirt. It was a Muse pencil skirt. Um, and you see pictures right here, embroidered. Um, it had like a whole scene embroider on it. And I believe that, that at one point it was sold at Anthropology. So um, I, I don't remember what I priced it at, probably 29 to $30. And I got an offer within an hour of $25, tickled pink. It was like a green, maybe like a faux suede. Um, it, was, it was a gorgeous skirt. I paid a dollar for that skirt at um, the Goodwill bins. I was shocked to find that at the bins in that good of shape with all that embroidery and beadwork. Okay, and then did I cover these? Where are they? I forgot about, I totally forgot my, my earrings. Okay, hold on y'all. I did sell a pair of Bars earrings. Bars is a great jewelry brand to look up or to, to find. So these came in a Shop Goodwill lot, um, and I paid a dollar for them. They were the designer bars, sterling silver, turquoise, abalone shell, dangle earrings, 925. So they did, the ear wires on them were sterling, cute little earrings, and like I said, um, they sold for $25. And yeah. They sold in almost a month. I listed them April 30th. They sold by May 26th. So there's the over $20. Let's talk about our honorable mentions. Um, let me get to our first honorable mention. There it is. They are these BOC Born Concept Gold Metallic Leather Flower Sandals Size 9 Ankle Strap Flat. I love selling born shoes. Now, you have to be careful with them when you find them. Make sure that the straps are not about to pull out from the midsole. Sometimes that happens. When I'm in the thrift store, I pull on them. I pull and stretch them just a little bit just to see what's happening and make sure that they're not gonna come apart. You twist, twist the soles, make sure they're not dry rotting and things like that. Um, and, and born, is known for doing that after a while so you do want to check those things but these sandals sold on ebay i paid three dollars and fifty cents for them at the bins and they sold for 1950. so they were also sold within two weeks of listing them i listed them on april 30th they sold on may 16th okay next is this victoria's secret tankini let me get up here to it. I think it's on this page. There it is. The Victoria's Secret Tankini Women's 38D Retro Floral Paisley Swim Suit Top Swim. Swimwear, maybe. Anyway, um, I sold that on eBay for $19.90. That's exactly what I had it priced at was $19.90. And it sold within about 11 days of me listing it. So it didn't take long. I paid $2.86 for it at a uh, thrift store that's local to Richmond called West End Thrift. And they were having a half price sale on clothes and I loaded up on clothes. So that one sold. And then the last honorable mention is, let me get to the right page. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This Brighton Women's Red Beaded Silver Buckle Belt Southwest Boho Size Medium Large 32. Um, I got this at a church yard sale for $2, is in beautiful shape. And it's, um, I paid $2 for it and it sold for $19.90. It sold for my full asking price on, where did it sell? On eBay. And it sold within three days of listing it. So those are great, great sales. So we did the over $20 and we did our three honorable mentions. Let's talk about the fast lane. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the items that I talked to you about 
were also fast lane items and I'm going to list them right here. Okay, so all of those sold within 30 days or less. Let's talk about some lower sales, some lower sales that um, sold within 30 days or less because some of us like knowing or like being able to move things fast at a reasonable price, at a reasonable price. It do that doesn't mean accept any price that's thrown out there just so you can move things fast. Do what you need to do for you to be comfortable. All right, um, fast lane. These J. Crew tortoise shell resin post back flat hoop earrings and new on the card. I paid $4 or around $4 for those in a thread up um, rescue box, one of their 15 piece jewelry boxes. I paid about $4 for those and they sold for $12 on Mercari and they sold within a week of listing them. So fast sale, a fast sale. I have them listed at 19 and um, somebody came in and offered me 12. I was fine with that. Take it, run, you know, that works. Honestly, probably on Macari, I probably had it to where the price lowered and the price got to a certain point, maybe to 15. And then as soon as I got to 15, somebody offered me 12. Again, I was fine um, with it. I usually take my, whatever my cost of goods, multiply it by three. And I wanna be able to sell something for that number. So I, if I paid four for it, four times three is 12. I'm good, I'm good with that. All right, next is this vintage cloisonne hinged clamper bracelet, red floral butterfly gold tone. That sold on Etsy for $12.90, and I paid $2.60 for it at the Williamsburg Antique Mall. Um, so happy with that sale for sure. And it sold within seven days of listing it. Okay. Next is this pack of Fruit of the Loom underwear. So, brand new in the pack, never opened. New Fruit of the Loom seven pack, size seven large, cotton, multicolor women's low rise brief. Um, those sold on eBay for $14.90. My cost of, good was two, cost of goods was $2 in what I like to call a Shop Goodwill fun box. So there are certain, certain Goodwill areas that will put together boxes of random items and sell them on the Shop Goodwill site. And I bought one, I opened it here on camera. I can link that video down below if you're interested to see what would be in a Shop Goodwill fun box. Um, and yeah, I got this pack of underwear, all too happy to sell it. I'm actually surprised because I got another pack of brand new underwear that is plus size. I'm shocked it hasn't sold yet because usually those fly out of my store. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to check and see. Maybe I might need to boost a little something on it. Okay. Um, at next is this Boston Proper um, sweater. Let me scroll up to it. Okay. I, had, I found this at the bins while I was on like a little mini vacay. Um, it wasn't a very good bins. It, um, it was in Salem, Virginia, and I just wasn't impressed with it. But I got this Boston Proper Open Knit Crochet Sweater Top, size medium, cropped coastal. I had to estimate the size because it, the tag was cut out. Um, I just made sure that I provided really good measurements of armpits, shoulders, length, all of that. I looked at other Boston Proper listings and looked at sizing and measurements and guesstimated. And I made sure that that was in the, the description, but it sold on eBay for $15. I paid a dollar for it um, and it sold within a day of listing it. So happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Had it listed at 20, somebody offered me 15 and I took it. All right, next, we should have something Chico's. We do. We have this Chico sleeveless top, size two, medium abstract geometric, geometric watercolor print. Um, this came, should have come, oh, I think it came at the same West End thrift that I was talking about earlier where I got the Victoria's Secret tankini. Um, so it sold mm, on eBay for $17.90 and it sold within eight days of listing it. 
All right, Chico's is popular depending on the piece. I, you know, I'm not gonna buy like just plain black Chico's, but Chico's prints and things like that, I sure will buy. All right, what is next? Um, maybe a cold water creek, something? Yeah, here we go. All right, so cold water creek, large, petite, linen blend, wide leg pants, pull on, striped. I thought these were screaming spring and summer. I really did when I saw them. I don't normally pick up cold water creek. These came from the bins, so I paid about a dollar for them. When you weigh it out and you divide out everything you're doing, it comes to about a dollar. They sold for $15.90, so my full asking price on eBay. And they sold within 11 days of listing them. Linen is a great summer fabric that people look for. That wide leg is very popular. Pull-on pants are very popular. Um, just that easy breezy um, coastal feel, okay, is really popular. So if you pick something up and, you, and that goes into your head, easy breezy coastal, maybe think about getting it depending on price and how it looks, okay? These were striped, they were pretty. All right, next thing to sell, and some people are gonna fuss at me for this, but fuss all you want. I'm running my business and I'm happy. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Um, this is a Peter Millar polo shirt, men's, large, blue, summer comfort, stretch, lightweight. There's more to it, but there we, we're there. Um, it sold on Mercari on an offer. Someone offered me $19. I had it listed at $24.90. They offered me $19 and I took $19. I paid $2 for this shirt. I'm trying to, maybe it was $2.80. I don't remember. Oh, I know where I got it. Paid $2 for it at Diversity. I got it at Diversity Thrift and it sold within 13 days of listing it. So I turned $2 into $19. I'm happy with that. All right, next we should have some J. Jill pants. So look at what we've got again. J. Jill linen, stretch, floral pants, women's size, size large petite. That is the second size large petite in two weeks. Don't think the petite things can't sell. Okay, they can. Um, but, you know, usually on the large end of petite, think about the curvier girls that we have that are a little bit short. They're the ones that are buying large petite, okay? Um, so large petite, pull on pants, pull on pockets, pink. So I put down that hat pockets. Um, anyway, they, let's see, where did I get those? They were 286, so that means I got them at West End Thrift. So that West End Thrift so far has been uh, a good score for me. Need to check them out more often, I think. But they sold for $14.50. Someone made that offer to me. I had them for $17.90 um, on eBay. And they sold within 14 days, two weeks of me listing them. Okay, next I had this pearl bracelet. So I called this the Boho Coin, Pearl, and Quartz Bracelet sterling toggle clasp two strand handcrafted it didn't have a maker on it but it had some like quartz teardrops faceted teardrops it had what i called coin pearls so they're like they look like flat coins but they are real pearls the toggle clasp was sterling um it's a really cute piece it was a pretty piece two strands um i paid a dollar for it i got it in a shop goodwill lot of jewelry i think or maybe maybe a DIY thread up a lot, but either way, um, it sold for $11.50 on eBay and it sold within a day of listing it. Okay. So sold within a day and let's see, next we have this J. Jill cosmetic bag. Um, I got it. I'm going to list it. It came in that same shop goodwill fun box so there's that fun box coming back again i've sold two things from it um so that fun box is this was a jj makeup cosmetic bag nwt which stands for new attacks travel toiletries blue floral zip case 
All right, so do you think, man, that title? I tried to put in every word that I thought someone would type in to search. All right, some people might call it a, a travel case. Some people might call it a travel bag, a toiletry case. You never know what combo of words people are gonna use, so stick them all in there. All right, nobody's grading your grammar and your, <laughs> and your title. Um, okay, so that sold, you know, I paid about a dollar for it. It sold for like $6. That's not, I know I'm not making like tons of money right there, but it was very easy to list. Picture the front, picture the back, picture the inside. Done, okay. So I took some measurements, we were good. Um, and it sold within 17 days of listing it. So there we go. And then the last fast lane sale was this Chico's Mandala shirt. Um, that big pattern on it. It was a size three, which is like a Chico's, which is like a large black, white, gray, rhinestone embellished. Um, it sold for $17.90 on eBay. I paid $2.86 for it. So you know where, that means where it came from, the West End Thrift. I'm telling you that trip that trip has made me money already. I'll have to go back and check on all of those because that's, you know, that stuff is just selling. Um, and it sold within eight days of listing it. So there we go. Sold within eight days of listing it, which is, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It sold within a day of listing it, eight days. It sold within a day of listing it. So very, very happy about that. And that was it, you guys. That was all I wanted to um, to show you guys as far as that. Let's talk about, let's talk about my net. My net profit for those two weeks. Um, and net profit means after cost of goods, if things are taken out, if I had to foot the shipping on anything, after all of that is taken out, after platform fee, platform fees are taken out what is actually you know put in my pocket with all that in consideration my net was 501 501 dollars and 46 cents happy with that happy with that do i hope that this summer it's more yes if i devote more time to this i want more out of it okay so that makes you know that kind of makes sense to me um let's let's see let's talk about categories in shoes, I sold eight pair of shoes in these two weeks. In clothes, I sold 27 pieces of clothing. I know we didn't go through them all. I went through the ones that I felt were the most beneficial for you, but I did sell 27 pieces of clothing this these two weeks. I sold 10 pieces of jewelry in these two weeks, and I sold two accessories. I counted the belt and the bag, the little J, J Jill bag as accessories. So um, there's, there's that. Let's talk about my May total. Let me get to my spreadsheet. All right, so for the month of May, let's pop that graph up here so that you guys can see it while I tell you. Um, for the month of May, my net this year was $1,039.01. Now, that's only 1.6 times what I did last year. All year long, so far in January, I've been doing more than two times what I did last year. So there's a little dip, but I'm not gonna stress. I just wanna keep climbing. Um, so, but I'm also, when we look at this graph, I'm also looking at a trend here. The trend shows that I should drop in sales in June and July. We will see what happens. All right, that just, we're just gonna have to see what happens with June and July and if I experience that same drop or not. What's really important for me and what I'm looking at is the fact, do you see that orange line? That orange line should always, always be above the blue line. The blue line is last year. I wanna do better than I did last year. So as long as that orange line stays above the blue line, I feel like I'm improving. And that's my biggest um, gauge for myself. That's how I'm kind of grading myself. 
on whether this business is the right thing for me, which I feel like it is. I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with it. So that was everything. If you feel like this video helped you, if you learned something, would you please give it a like? Um, and give me comments below. How are sales for you? If you are a reseller, how are sales for you right now? Do you feel like they're up? Do you feel like they're down? Do you keep track of numbers the way that I do? I'm not a numbers person. I'm not a math person, but I do keep track of this. How, um, how detailed do you keep track? I feel like I could do more, but I, I'm tired. Anyway, <laughs> until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.